Welcome back. In this screencast, we are going to display the titles of the blog as well as the content of the blog. And uh, already in our previous one, we have uh, uh, just calling a post in our template. So just post calling post in a template is not enough to display the titles and uh, content. So we need to call the uh, titles as well as well as the text why titles and text so if you browse through models.py uh, we have titles here and we have text here and with this let's call the publish date also so that you can identify that yes this blog post has been published on this particular date so to do that let us quickly modify our templates so first of all let's uh, delete this uh, post here and take a div and inside uh, div uh, let's take a uh, paragraph and uh, this is going to be published date and let's call the published date of the post so it is going to be post dot publish date and let us uh, get the title here inside the uh, header header tag uh, h2 and uh, href post dot title right sorry post on title so this is going to publish the publish date and the title of the post and after that let's uh, call the content of the post also so to call the content of the post you can call say post dot text why post dot text we'll discuss it now and line break right to break the line so this post basically we are calling from the models post dot text and post dot title and post dot publish date so if you save and uh, refresh your page hopefully you should see uh, it's not coming let's check it out let's uh, close the server and uh, run the server once again and uh, let's refresh the browser it's not coming let's check it out what is the issues so we have post okay so we missed to run a for loop so to get a for loop first you so for post in post and you can close the for loop and for and this particular uh, section you can cut it and you can paste it inside uh, the for loop and if you save it and refresh hopefully it should come so this is the two content uh, uh, sorry two post which we had uh, inside our database uh, that is directly coming from the database except now this particular uh, line there is no uh, any content which is statically placed on this page now what we are going to do uh, is we are going to clean up the template how to clean up the template is so basically currently if you just browse through templates we have only one template uh, file uh, called post underscore list dot html so in django there is a concept of template inheritance template inheritance is going to uh, work in a very simple way uh, so let's say in this particular page this content where we are uh, defining our css 
and uh, you know it's going to replicate on every page and if you go uh, bottom also so this javascript bootstrap javascript uh, this is going to replicate replicate on every page so what we are going to do is we are going to define a base html and we are going to call that base html on every page to do that uh, open your template go to inside blog uh, folder and create a new file called base.html and inside base.html you copy uh, the whole content so let's call copy this and put it inside the base.html and inside uh, base.html what we are going to do is we are going to uh, keep only the content which is going to replicate on every page so uh, this section is going to replicate on every page right uh, in fact this uh, css also custom css also uh, this navbar also uh, and only the content which is not going to replicate is uh, this uh, container which is going to be only on the home page so what we are going to do is we are going to delete this particular section and save this one and uh, so this section is also uh, going to replicate on every single page so let's keep this one also and what we are going to do we are going to extend this particular template on our home page so to extend this particular uh, template we have a concept called uh, uh, block content and end block so to do that what we are going to do is we are going to put it inside uh, uh, the block and end block so what uh, to achieve that first of all uh, we need to delete this particular uh, section which is going to uh, which we have already put it on the base uh, dot base dot html so let's uh, quickly delete this so this we have deleted and this is also we have deleted and this container let's uh, delete this container also and this uh, this div also i believe it's not uh, required so let's quickly delete this two div and this two part and here what we are going to uh, add is the block content so let's put block content and here and block so whenever uh, you are writing block content you have to close it with the end block and whenever you are uh, updating this block content then uh, you have to also update your uh, base.html so to update the base.html what you need to do is you go inside base.html and this is the section which we have deleted our content right so we are going to update with block content so here you can say block content and and block right so if everything is uh, configured properly hopefully the page should display uh, perfectly yes so page is displaying perfectly but uh, the css is not coming i believe uh, so how to fix the css is let us go quickly and uh, yes so so what we have did here is all our css is uh, in base.html but if you open post underscore list dot html we have uh, no we are not extending the template 
so to extend the template what we need to do is you need to uh, extend it uh, base dot html into post underscore list dot html so to do that there is a tag in django called extend so if you extend uh, sorry this is wrong so if you take extend tag and base.html hopefully it should uh, work now so let's open the browser refresh the page it says uh, base.html does not exist uh, might be this is okay so this should be inside blog so now save it and refresh the page yes so now our uh, template inheritance is also working and uh, we have uh, extended the base.html we have cleaned up the template and uh, we are only calling uh, uh, we, are, we, we are we are calling the base.html wherever we need uh, uh, you know this particular uh, content so perhaps you know we need on every single page whether it is going to be about page about us page or contact us page or uh, home page so we are going to ex extend base.html on uh, every single uh, uh, page so if you have noticed here uh, the alignment is not coming uh, perfectly uh, might be because the we haven't took it inside the container so to fix that let's quickly go inside uh, the post underscore uh, list dot html and take it inside container so if you take inside container and put it uh, this one inside container hopefully it should kind of display correctly so let's refresh yes so now uh, it's coming perfectly it's coming inside container and displaying correctly so in this uh, screencast we have uh, worked on the template cleanup and uh, we have uh, used the template inheritance of the django and now uh, if you uh, look into the page so we have uh, about page also contact page also so let's quickly make this two page inside the template so let's go to blog and uh, say about dot html and uh, let's create contact dot html also and uh, let us extend uh, both blog base.html and uh, save it and extend here also base sorry blog base.html and uh, if you refresh the page uh, hopefully uh, it should work no it's not working because uh, the url uh, we haven't configured so to configure the url go inside base uh, dot html and we have uh, here so we are going to uh, configure the url here so we will configure it into the next screencast and we'll configure into uh, configure it dynamically so let's save this one and refresh it right so see you in the next screencast where we are going to configure the url and we are going to uh, create a, another uh, model for about thank you so much